Mira, ¿dónde tú estás? Ya estoy aquí, mi vida. Ay. ¿Pero qué están tomando? ¿Pero por qué? Porque me traje lo nuevo y diferente. Taino Light Boricua Beer. Y lo más importante es que es lo nuevo y acabadita de salir al mercado. Y saben buenas. Claro, ambas cervezas tienen los mismos beneficios que una copa de vino. Con menos calorías. La Boricua Beer, 6%. Fuerte, pero con sabor. Y la Taino Light, 4.5%. Y es artesanal. Es Somos familia. Calidad y sabor. Visita boricuabeer.com Hola Florida, introducen Boricua Beer and Taino Light Beer. Boricua and Taino Light are crafted beers that are rich in flavors and brewed right here in Florida. Taino Beer has a crisp, refreshing Caribbean flavor style when enjoyed chill. Boricua Beer is a craft ale with full body flavor that is a beer drinker's beer. Boricua and Taino Light Beers, enjoy responsibly. Synchrony Financial está contratando a representantes bilingües de colecciones en Orlando. Ofrecemos un salario inicial competitivo, incluyendo bonos mensuales hasta $1,200 y un paquete de beneficios integrales cuales se inician desde el primer día. Aplique hoy en SynchronyCareers.com, que es s y n c h r o n y careerscom o envíe por texto el código s y 103 al 90206. Repito, envíe el código s y 103 al 90206. Welcome to this week's edition of Hispanic Speak Out TV, brought to you on Bright House Cable every Tuesday night. And we're here with our panel for a political discussion. Greg Perkins, EDU TV. Uh, William Garlington, conservative author of It's Your Choice America. <laughs> Jose Miranda, Hispanic Speak Out TV. Okay, guys, what's the subject? What are we going to talk about today? Trump, and, Trump and Ireland. Trump and Elizabeth Warren and Hillary Clinton. Go ahead, oh. you go first. Well, uh, it seems like uh, Elizabeth Warren and Hillary Clinton are uh, tag teaming against Donald Trump. She's even called him um, Goofy. He shot back on Twitter and called her, you know, Goofy as well. And Pocahontas. And Pocahontas, which I wore this uh, tie. Which is very offensive, by the way. Yes. Well, well it's, I'm, I'm it's Indian. Offensive it's offensive to the Native Americans. Well, anyway. Well, I mean, it will. Isn't there That's a book about well, Pocahontas? And all sure there is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, but not that Disney version. They, they, they have not found any tangible evidence that she's right. Native American at all. There's no. no records at all that anywhere. Yeah, well, they so haven't like been able to present. Years. So it's okay records. for her. It's okay for Trump to call her a demeaning name that Native Americans find offensive. There. Is no, that right? what it is is I no, don't say did, that. I what, say you're that. applying that. No, what I am saying is there's no substantive information that to back no, up her claim it has that to do she with it. is a Native American. It has nothing to do with her. Him calling. No, her. it has nothing to okay, do with okay, that. Okay, so he's it out of line. Has nothing to do with that. He's but out I'm, of line. Well, I'm not talking about that. What I am talking about is whether she's lying or not about her heritage. And he said on Twitter the other day that she's lying about her heritage. That's he, all. He can't prove it. Okay. Okay. Well, well she, she can't, can't prove it either. either. There you go. The tie. It's, it's a tie. But it's what does tie. that have to do with it's the a, price of tea in China? Yeah, right. Why, well, she's claiming to be something that she cannot prove she is. No. Now, that was a Republican. So is, Don, so is Donald Trump. He's it, claiming well, to be something. Well, that's the point. That's exactly <laughs> the point. Everybody attacks, all the media attacks Trump or a Republican, but when it comes to a Democrat when they lie, they okay. don't attack. Exactly. You See, the, the Democrats... Just like do. The government pounding the... The, 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 the CNN, that. the New York Times, all those people, they don't attack uh, The Hillary. Democrats and the liberals think they yes, can they get they away with lying... The history of politics. ...with no. lying and corruption, and that's why the people are resonating around Donald Trump. Because the resonating the, resonating the polls? Yeah. Well, I, I that, think that's, right now, that's the that's the liberal media's polls. Right now, what's happening? You, you, he, he's not getting the media that Clinton is getting right now. Oh, so I think he's laying back. Let me back. cry about it. Look, his strategy is right now. What I, he's laying back, waiting for her to shoot a wad, and then he's going to come out. Is that right? And they do have a movie coming out about Hillary. You know about that, right? They have a, a, a full movie coming about her and her history. It's going right. to be. It's, it's, Humpty Dumpty? It's, it's, no. no. It's worse than that. It's worse than that. No. But, you know, it goes all the way back to Whitewater. Whoa, 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 whoa. At the same time, anyway. there, the History Channel has something on, on Donald Trump, which is not exactly flattering, brother. Well, okay? it was an hour show. I watched the whole show. It's actually two hours. I would say you fell asleep the on the second half, I bet you. Most of it, most of it yeah. was just factual. 
and I'm sure that the other part that you don't like or are saying it was, was factual. No, it, it was about an egomaniac, okay, running amok. Okay. He did some good things. He built some good things. How many That's people? That's all they could do. Okay. He okay. did some good things for New York, right? Okay. Like he what? Some, like what? He what made he money. Do? He made money. Well, what, he how made did he money. make money, Jose? He made money by, by, by investing in the real estate here in the market. By okay, changing. so and he employs 10,000 people? And he also went into, he also went into uh, Chapter 13 several times because he oh. was wrong. Okay. Okay, right. just like he's wrong now. Well, I got news for you. I um, did Chapter 13. Okay. Okay? And, and you want to know something? I had to. And in his case, he had to. The government allowed him to do it. The government allowed me to do it. Right. It's part, a lot of people... Over 1 million people a year right. claim Chapter 13 and go bankrupt in the United States. That doesn't mean they're criminals. But normally they don't run for president. But, okay, right. but they, they run. Listen, run. listen, no. well, listen Harry you're Harry telling Harry. me when uh, Bill Clinton claimed Chapter 13? When did he claim Chapter 13? When he was running, when they left the White House. He claimed uh, Chapter 13. Harry S. Harry S. Truman claimed that bankruptcy back in 19... Yeah, so did Ulysses S. Grant. Right. So, I say it correct. So anyway... You do. Well, it's, it's, it's the law. It may need to be changed, but... I'm interested in the UK vote that wants to get rid of. Um, so, what do you think about that? I think it's a good idea. I think it's uh, Why? Th well because they're coming to the senses that that these people that are immigrating into Europe they're so not you assimilating. Think it's immigration based. Well, yeah, because they're not assimilating yeah. like they ought to be assimilating, yeah. and they're having a problem. Europe is having a problem, just like we're having a problem. So if you come over and assimilate legally, no problem. But if you come up and say, you know what, I want to carry the Mexican what flag. What problem are uh, we having? Oh, Sorry, there's, Jose. There's no, a lot no, of no, 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 that's okay. It, it is an immigrant problem, uh, but in the UK's part is, is money, okay? They're not, they're not producing enough money to take in all the things that they're doing. And so right what now... What does that mean? Who's not taking money? Right, the UK is not bringing... And the, e, the EAU, okay, the, the European uh, Nation uh, Compact, UK did not uh, run into that willingly right from the get-go. They've what always they been... They've always been... Being part of the European Union. They didn't want to be part of the European thing. Yeah, but they did become part of the European Union. Reluctantly, you know all the Listen, all the time, they've would, always I, had one foot out. Yeah, it was it was a political maneuver. Yes. I understand. they're trying to survive. But, That's but what they're trying that, to do. That has it's it's changing. It's morphing. That whole system was to be an economic interchange. Now they're dictating politics to the countries. Now the UK gives sixteen billion dollars a year and gets nothing back. So they're saying, okay, I'm giving you sixteen billion dollars a year. What? is the equivalent or plus that I'm getting back. You know how much money they, they lost? They, they lost trillions, bro. Yeah, no, they, you want to know something? They, they lost trillions. You want to know something? Yeah. Never measure the economy based upon a 48-hour period. It's going to come back. Oh, yeah, okay? it'll come back. And you remember President Obama said, Today, get back to the end of the queue, when he, he was having that press conference right. with the prime yeah, minister. Sure. He said, if you quit, you get back to the end of the line doing right. business with the United States. Right. And he apologized for it when, right. he, when it happened. Well, he apologized. What, what happened in, in England is, is what, what needs to happen in, in America. We need to close our borders, have legal immigration. Well, we don't have to close our borders. Yeah, let's close our borders. Let's, let's, no, no, they're not. Let's, no, let's they're build not. fences. Let's build walls. In fact, let's get some machine guns out there. We really wanted to build walls. Let's, you know, let's shoot people. Let me, let me give you the, the United Continue. Kingdom. Continue. Okay. The United see, I know Kingdom, you agree, agree with that. The United Kingdom is smaller than Florida. Yeah, okay? it's, small. it's terribly small. They're taking in more immigrants proportionately than any other country in Europe. Right. Okay? They have an, a standing mass population which is now flipping the culture of England. Yeah, and you, that's what they're afraid yeah, of. You, you, you whether know, it's right or wrong, whether it's right or wrong, and I'm not discussing that it's right or but wrong. Actually, Dan, what I'm, I'm saying to you is that you. the culture yeah. is totally being affected of that yeah. country. Yeah, yeah well, I'm going to agree with you on that because. Man, the Middle East and, and those places in Africa, they are such a mess that people are living in, leaving in droves just to survive. Like, you know, you're sitting there watching TV with your family, a missile flies over your head. Hey, man, I got to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, man, they, they got nowhere to go. Yeah, but is the solution to change countries or is the solution to help them economically to have their own country. Yeah. Well, there's a third, there's, there's a third solution. Yeah. The there's other, a, the there's other a third thing solution. Is what is that? The, the third solution is 50. whatever you are in, in, the, in that country, you work as a team, a country, to build your country, not looking for a handout from another country, not leaving your country, staying in your country. But how country. do you stop them from coming over? 
to right. get on those boats. Immigration. No. No, I'm saying how do you stop No, the government, of, of, the government of XYZ. The same way they stop Cubans when Cubans come here on a boat. They turn them around. No, that's okay. easier. Uh, the a government of XYZ will have, help its people Cubans and the people help itself. Cubans right. get turned around in boats all the time. Right. Now, if a Cuban makes it to a beach and steps on U.S. soil, he's done. He, he's, he gets safe. to stay. Right. 52% of all of the Muslims in the United Kingdom, 52%, believe in Sharia law. That's correct. And not- follow Sharia law. That's half the population of all the Muslims in that country follow Sharia law. Hey, come on. That's well, why that's, that's, law- well, that's against Britain's law, though. Yeah, that's yeah, why it, England, yeah, it is. That's it why is. England it, wants to against, stop it. It's against Britain's law to beat women, okay, right. to rape women, right. all right, with immunity, because that's what Sharia law says. And luckily we don't do that in this country, women. right? None of that happens in this country with the people that live here already, right? You want to know something? Right, and right I, or wrong. I, uh, I don't know who you're going, what group you're going to. Okay, it doesn't matter. That, that takes place. Women get beat here, okay? But Women get to, raped not, here. Not to that degree. Okay. We're talking about 330 million people. The population... It doesn't matter if of, one woman gets raped, okay? I understand, it's still Jose, wrong. Jose. I understand it's wrong, and that's my point, too. It's wrong. So why endorse an entire population that has it as part of their behavior pattern? That believes in doing that legally. I mean, these Muslims believe that women don't have I'm any sorry, say is, so. Is it written in the Quran that yes, they don't have it? Yes, it is. That they it can ra- get raped and beaten? Absolutely. Yes. No, whoa, 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 whoa. No, whoa. Listen, whoa. we'll bring well, it next I, week. I, I can say I, that may happen, but I, I don't think what. that's in the Quran. The Quran, no, no, we proved you wrong the before. The Quran, no. which was written a long time ago, okay, when you were specifies kid. the behavior of men and women. And that behavior allows for total discretion Absolutely. by the man. Absolutely. I want you which to is, show that we will. in the Quran. We, we will. We don't have to bet. $100. I'm, I'm not going to bet, but I don't okay, think that's then, in there. Then, I don't all think All right. Well, you know what? We're going to research Conservatives it. Conservatives have facts. Because the, Liberals don't. the indication is that women have complete, complete secondary servitude to men. Men can do anything they want. They are the absolute power. Which is a problem why Hillary Clinton's foundation receives millions of dollars Two, from... $25 million from, from Saudi Arabia. From that beat and, and dismember yeah. and make homosexuals... Spit it out, class, Bill. You got about 20 seconds. Class. It's yeah. lawful <laughs> for them to kill gays in Saudi Arabia. I know. And, and Russia. Hillary Clinton and Elizabeth Warren be executed support that in Russia. Saudi Arabia. This is Danny Graham. going to take a break. Thank you, guys. We'll be back. <laughs> Hola Florida, introducing Boricua Beer and Taino Light Beer. Boricua and Taino Light are crafted beers that are rich in flavors and brewed right here in Florida. Taino Beer has a crisp, refreshing Caribbean flavor style when enjoyed chilled. Boricua Beer is a craft ale with full body flavor that is a beer drinker's beer. Boricua and Taino Light Beers, enjoy responsibly. Synchrony Financial está contratando a representantes bilingües de colecciones en Orlando. Ofrecemos un salario inicial competitivo, incluyendo bonos mensuales hasta $1,200 y un paquete de beneficios integrales cuales se inician desde el primer día. Aplique hoy en SynchronyCareers.com, que es s y n c h r o n y careerscom o envíe por texto el código s y 103 al 90206. Repito, envíe el código s y 103 al 90206. Mira, ¿dónde tú estás? Ya estoy aquí, mi vida. Ay. ¿Pero qué están tomando? ¿Pero por qué? Porque me traje lo nuevo y diferente. Taino Light Boricua Beer. Y lo más importante es que es lo nuevo y acabadita de salir al mercado. ¿Y saben buenas? Claro, ambas cervezas tienen los mismos beneficios que una copa de vino. Con menos calorías. La Boricua Beer, 6%. Fuerte, pero con sabor. Y la Taino Light, 4.5%. Y es artesanal. Es verdad. Somos familia. Calidad y sabor. Visita boricuabeer.com. Hi, I'm Jose Miranda. This is Hispanic Speak Out TV, brought to you each week on Bright House Channel 49. Uh, we have two other shows on our, on our network, which is uh, Latino Role Models, which comes after us, and we have EDU TV, which precedes us. We talk politics, we talk education, we talk uh, community, and uh, right tonight we have the privilege of joining uh, two of our, our political finest in the Hispanic caucuses. Uh, to my right, I have Jose Garcia. And to my extreme right, I have uh, Vivian Rodriguez, uh, who is the honcho and, and main, uh, main person in uh, Florida. And Jose is from Polk County, uh, the Hispanic Caucasus. Thank you both for coming and hanging out with me a little bit. Thank, Thank you, you for inviting us. You know, and I know it's been a little bit challenging here today, but I appreciate your, your time. Um, a tragic uh, incident occurred uh, in, in our community in, in uh, Orlando. 
in the uh, nightclub, uh, in the LGBT, uh, LBGT uh, community. So tell me about it, how does it affect the caucus, and what do we do? Well, I would like to say that um, on June 12th, the most horrific mass shooting in U.S. history occurred in the city of Orlando in a gay nightclub called Pulse. And uh, because it was Latin night, the majority of the victims were Latino. And um, there were various other victims as well. I mean, that was a, a safe haven for the gay community to gather together, to feel safe, and just um, be happy and just enjoy you know, their culture, their dance. And it wasn't only the gay community that visited that nightclub. Mm -hmm. We had straight allies as well as mothers and sons. And as you can see that a lot of the victims, um, one of the mothers who passed away, she was there protecting her son. Right. And her son survived. Um, so this it was is a just community that people, some people will say it's, it's a hate crime, some people will say it's a terrorist, although the authorities are still in the process of checking all this out. But in your mind, what do you feel happened? Oh, it's both. It's a hate crime because this individual, he targeted the LGBT community. And it's an act of domestic terrorism because this individual called 9-11 and um, pledged his allegiance to ISIS according to transcripts. But we won't know all the facts until the investigation has been uh, completed. But looking at the indicators uh, as given in the media, mm -hmm. it looks like it was both. Because nightclubs have been attacked before, gay nightclubs. Sure. Jose, your, uh, your organization uh, covers a great deal of ground, and, and a lot of Hispanics come and they look for you guys for support. What is it that you're doing to help the community heal? Well, first of all, uh, once I contacted Vivian after I found out what had happened, my first instinct was to reach out to the uh, LGBT Center in Orlando and uh, offer my services there in translating and comforting the individuals that needed comforting and giving out whatever supplies, water, food to the people who are volunteering and just try to be as generally as helpful as I could. You both support candidates uh, on the Democratic side that are vying for various positions and stuff in, in, in Orlando and Florida. Uh, how are you gonna hold them accountable or ask them to be involved in either upholding gun laws or changing gun laws? Well, you have to have common sense gun laws. And right now, after this horrific attack that occurred, you see both in the state, in the, uh, state legislators as well as the U.S. Senate that they're trying to uh, close these loopholes because people, I mean, it's just common sense, people who are in a no-fly list or terrorist watch list, why are we giving access to assault rifles to these individuals that can create, you know, attacks and kill so many innocent victims? I mean, this is just ridiculous. This is just common sense. But to be fair, uh, the government has put people on the list that don't belong on the list. And that's fine, but give us the opportunity to check, you know, those um, individuals that are on these lists and let them, you know, it, it, once the process is done, they right. will be taken off this list. Do we want to have another mass tragedy again because we're not using our common sense to say, hey, you know, you're not going to give uh, guns to individuals can be, that can be terrorists. I understand. Jose is a former law enforcement officer. You know very well that we can't frisk and stop everybody and find out whether they're good people or bad people. What do you think we should be doing for the, in terms of the guns? Well, I know it's a broad question, but. Uh, I understand we can't inconvenience everybody, but just like uh, car manufacturers wanted to prevent people from stealing cars, they took measures. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to prevent certain people from getting access to guns. We have to take common sense measures also. Right. Hold on to that thought. I'm gonna take a quick break here, okay? We'll come back to that common sense measure, okay? I'm Jose Miranda. This is Hispanic Speak Out TV. We'll be right back.
Hola Florida, introducing Boricua Beer and Taino Light Beer. Boricua and Taino Light are crafted beers that are rich in flavors and brewed right here in Florida. Taino Beer has a crisp, refreshing Caribbean flavor style when enjoyed chilled. Boricua Beer is a craft ale with full body flavor that is a beer drinker's beer. Boricua and Taino Light Beers, enjoy responsibly. Mira, ¿dónde tú estás? Ya estoy aquí, mi vida. Ay. ¿Pero qué están tomando? ¿Pero por qué? Porque me traje lo nuevo y diferente. Taino Light Boricua Beer. Y lo más importante es que es lo nuevo y acabadita de salir al mercado. ¿Y saben buenas? Claro, ambas cervezas tienen los mismos beneficios que una copa de vino. Con menos calorías. La Boricua Beer 6%. Fuerte, pero con sabor. Y la Taino Light 4.5% y es artesanal. Es Somos familia. Calidad y sabor. Visita boricuabeer.com Synchrony Financial está contratando a representantes bilingües de colecciones en Orlando. Ofrecemos un salario inicial competitivo, incluyendo bonos mensuales hasta $1,200 y un paquete de beneficios integrales cuales se inician desde el primer día. Aplique hoy en SynchronyCareers.com, que es s y n c h r o n y careerscom o envíe por texto el código s y f 103 al 90206. Repito, envíe el código s y f 103 al 90206. Welcome back. I'm Jose Miranda. This is Bright House Channel 49, Hispanic Speak Out TV, uh, brought to you each week starting at 9.30 p.m. So stay tuned uh, for all the programs that uh, are on the station with us. Uh, I'm being joined again by Jose Garcia and Vivian Rodriguez, the Hispanic representatives for the caucus, uh, Hispanic caucus. Um, we were talking about uh, we can't stop everybody and frisk everybody. Uh, of course, the government makes mistakes. Um, who put who goes on the fly, uh, no fly zone. So tell me, what do you think we should be doing better? Well, I believe that uh, there are common sense measures that we can't take as a society. Mm -hmm. You know, people who are involved in criminality, of course, cannot, you know, own guns. Okay. People who are convicted of felonies, people who are um, been convicted of uh, domestic abuse, Okay. These are people that have shown themselves to be untrustworthy, to be, you know, given the responsibility of owning a gun. Right. Vivian, do you, do you think that we, uh, should the states be more involved? Should the government be more involved? Uh, isn't our, our, the Republican Party saying that we want less government? And you're kind of indicating that we want more government. You know, it's a good question that you asked that because 89% of Americans all agree that they want to have some type of universal background check. I mean, that's 89%. And you, if you look at the members of Congress and state legislators, many who are Republican agree with these common sense gun laws. Right. So that it's a matter of life. It, it's, you know, at this time, we're not saying that people cannot own guns. Of course you can own guns, because I would never take the Second Amendment away from anyone, because I believe in the Second Amendment. What I'm saying to uh, the uh, elected officials is, let's think you know, with common sense. That's the word, common sense. You know, you try, if you have a firearm, you're going to put that firearm away and you're gonna make sure that it's secure if you have a child because you don't want the child to gain access to it. Okay. You know, these are the precautions we have to take. And if there's something that's right in front of us, let's change it because how many Americans have to die before we start realizing that something has to change? Okay, given that, given that the head of the Republican head of the Republican ticket right now is indicating that the Democratic Party wants wants to subterfuge the Second Amendment, just take it away, is that what your party is trying to indicate? No, I don't think so. And again, if you look at uh, many of the legislators, both in states and and in uh, in uh, the U.S. Uh, Congress, um, a lot of them unfortunately voted down a bill that would have closed this loophole just this week. Mm -hmm. And I was very disheartened by that action because um, I think politics should not play with the lives of Americans. And um, we have to really look at our system sure. because, you know, the elected officials are there to protect Americans. But they're saying they are protecting them, okay? They're saying that you have a right to have bear arms, to have arms, to have the arms uh, concealed because it's for your protection. And I might add that some people have even uh, put out that had people had guns uh, at, at that uh, venue, that perhaps that gunman would not have killed 49 people. What do you say to that? 
But let me just say that that's a misconception because there was someone who was at that venue who had a gun. An off-duty police officer was acting as a security guard at the front entrance. And he confronted this gentleman as he approached with that assault rifle. And a trained officer with a handgun approached him, returned fire, and was wounded and was still unable to stop this gentleman with an assault rifle. And how do you think that we could do it on paper to stop that gentleman? Because if one officer, if you said, and I'll throw it out there real quick, if you have a, a, a venue that has 300 people, how is it that 300 people couldn't overcome one man with a rifle? You know, instead of, instead of looking at it on what the people could have done and what, can, that they couldn't do, right. that what they couldn't do, we have to look at the laws of the land and our elected officials that we elect to office they represent their constituents. And if 89% of Americans are saying, let's change these laws, and we have to have universal background checks, okay. common sense gun laws, then you know what? You were elected by the people, listen to the people, and change the laws so that we don't have any more mass carnages of Americans. But you would agree, even though the elected, you, have a, you have right now elected all these officials, they're not doing what you want. Okay, they're not even coming well, close, and we keep voting them in over and over and over again. Well, we hope that things will change, because I'm really here to focus on the actual attack, how our Hispanics were affected. And one of the big things that the Hispanic Caucus did was all the presidents from Central Florida. Of course, we had Jose from Polk. We had Orange and Osceola. Everybody was on the ground, mm -hmm. because since the victims were Latinos, we needed translators. We needed um, Hispanic, uh, Spanish hotlines. We needed a lot, of, uh, a lot of services for Latinos. And we didn't have them on the ground and they weren't prepared. Okay. So it took some time to get, you know, to, to have these services for our people. And this is what we have to look at. We have to look at, God forbid this should happen again. We have to be able to be ready, mobilize, and know how to handle this. God forbid this happens again. Real quick, how to get in touch with you. You have a phone number or something that somebody can reach out to you? Yes, the Hispanic Caucus. Uh, I'm the president, Vivian Rodriguez. You can call me at 407-758-2442. We're here to help the community. Uh, we've had, I must say that we've had a lot of outpouring of support from the community, both the LGBT, Latino. There's been coalitions of all different communities coming to aid the families because it's about the victims and it's about the families now. It's not about you know, what we can do with gun control, that's going to that's gonna be a subject, and we're going to try to handle that so it doesn't happen again. But right now, our concern is to comfort those families, make sure that they get the services needed, make sure we have those bilingual uh, therapists, uh, any type of service that they may need. That's what we're here for. And as a community, we've come together in Orlando, and I always say that love conquers hate. On that note, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Uh, this is Jose Miranda. This has been Hispanic Speak on TV. We'll see you again, same time, same station, next week. Hola, Florida. Introducing Boricua Beer and Taino Light Beer. Boricua and Taino Light are crafted beers that are rich in flavors and brewed right here in Florida. Taino Beer has a crisp, refreshing Caribbean flavor style when enjoyed chill. Boricua Beer is a craft ale with full body flavor that is a beer drinker's beer. Boricua and Taino Light Beers. Enjoy responsibly. Synchrony Financial está contratando a representantes bilingües de colecciones en Orlando. Ofrecemos un salario inicial competitivo, incluyendo bonos mensuales hasta $1,200 y un paquete de beneficios integrales cuales se inician desde el primer día. Aplique hoy en SynchronyCareers.com, que es S-Y-N-C-H-R-O-N-Y-Careers.com o envíe por texto el código SYF103 al 90206. Repito, envíe el código SYF103 al 90206. 
Mira, ¿dónde tú estás? Ya estoy aquí, mi vida. Ay. ¿Pero qué están tomando? ¿Pero por qué? Porque me traje lo nuevo y diferente. Taino Light Boricua Beer. Y lo más importante es que es lo nuevo y acabadita de salir al mercado. Y saben buenas. Claro, ambas cervezas tienen los mismos beneficios que una copa de vino. Con menos calorías. La Boricua Beer 6%. Fuerte, pero con sabor. Y la Taino Light 4.5% y es artesanal. Es Somos familia. Calidad y sabor. Visita boricuabeer.com Hola Florida, introducing Boricua Beer and Taino Light Beer. Boricua and Taino Light are crafted beers that are rich in flavors and brewed right here in Florida. Taino Beer has a crisp, refreshing Caribbean flavor style when enjoyed shield. Boricua Beer is a craft L with full body flavor that is a beer drinker's beer. Boricua and Taino Light Beers, enjoy responsibly.